Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. So here is uh, part three of uh, distributed forces and in preparation to distributed forces, we have to master location of finding the location of centroids or volumes, areas, and arcs or lines. So level six problem, derive the formula for the volume and location of centroid of a paraboloid of revolution. Here is the paraboloid of revolution that's considered a uh, horizontal slab which is circular and of radius x as shown. So this is y and the location of the centroid is also anywhere on this plane of slab, circular slab. So that's why y, y is also y sub c. The location of the centroid of that circular slab. The thickness is dy, the radius is x as shown. So our variable of integration is y. So volume is the integral of this differential volume and this differential volume is simply the area of a circle times the thickness dy. So volume equals integral of dv. So volume equals integral from 0 to h of pi x pi x squared dy. Now to derive x, we use squared property of parabola y as to x squared equals h as to r squared. So y vertical as to square of horizontal x squared equals vertical as to square of r, r squared. So y or x squared therefore is r squared y over h. So substitute here volume equals from 0 to h of pi r square y over big H dy. So since r square h and pi are constants, so we only evaluate y dy which is y square over 2. So volume is pi r square over h times quantity y square over 2 from 0 to h. So volume equals pi r square over h over 2h quantity h square minus 0 square, so 0. So this is pi r square h over 2. So if, if, if we're going to interpret the volume of a paraboloid of revolution, it is one half the volume of the circumscribing, right circumscribing cylinder. The volume of a right circular cylinder is pi r square h. The volume of the paraboloid of revolution is half of that volume, so pi r square h over 2. So in general, if the paraboloid of revolution has two bases as shown. Uh, we first locate the centroid of the paraboloids using Varignon's theorem volume times bar y equals integral of y sub c dv. So pi r square h over 2 bar y equals integral of y sub c which is just y. And dv is pi quantity r square y over h dy. So in this case, pi r square h constant. So we evaluate y square dy, which is y cube over 3. So bar y, after we cancel out pi r square, then we have 2 over h times h, so 2 over h square. Integral of y square dy is y cube over 3 from 0 to h. Substituting, bar y equals 2 over 3h squared times h cubed minus 0. So that's why bar y or yg is 2 thirds of h. <coughs> then for uh, the volume of a paraboloid of revolution with two bases, the bigger radius is big R and the smaller radius is small r. And let us say the height of this paraboloid, paraboloid of revolution with two bases as small h as shown. And this is originally big h. 
So therefore, this is big H minus small h. So that from this formula, we use this formula and instead of having the limits lower 0 to h, we replace 0 by big H minus small h. So volume is pi r square over h times y square over 2 from h minus small h to big H. So volume is pi r square over 2h quantity h square minus quantity h minus small h quantity square. So expanding volume by square property parabola big H minus small h as to small r square equals big H as to big r square. So h cross multiply big H r square minus r square h equals h small r square. So factor out big H h times big r square minus small r square equals big r square h. Then let's expand this. Volume equals pi big R square over 2H quantity H square minus quantity H square minus 2 big H small H plus H square. So if we simplify this, we can cancel big H square. And what is remaining inside is 2 big H small H minus H square. So volume equals pi R square over 2H quantity 2 big H small H minus H square. Distribute, so volume equals pi r square small h minus pi r square small h square over 2h. Then we replace uh, big H from here, which is r square small h over big r square minus small r square. So volume is pi r square small h 1 after we factor out pi r square small h. Then we have 1 minus what is left here is h over 2h. So h over 2h. After we factor this out, pi r square h. So there remains small h over 2h. So this is the small h. Then this is 2. This is big h from here. r square h over r square minus small r square. So we cancel h small h. So simplifying, and this becomes the numerator. So what remains in the denominator is 2 big R square. So volume equals pi R square small h quantity 1 minus R square minus small R square over 2 big R square. Simplify by cross multiplication. Pi R square h quantity 2 R square minus R square plus small R square all over 2 R square. So we cancel big R square. This is big R square plus R square. So the volume of a paraboloid of revolution with two bases, therefore, is pi quantity big R square plus small R square all over 2 times h, or pi quantity big R square plus small R square h over 2. So instead of memorizing this, I suggest that you memorize this because this has two applications for parabolic segment, paraboloid evolution with two bases, and even for one base. We just set small r to zero if there is only one base because small r is zero there. And the formula reduces to pi big R square. Then, of course, the big H, the small h becomes big H when small r is zero. So big H over 2. So it goes back to this original formula. So I hope that you can remember this formula and you can derive the formula by your own. So I suggest that you, do, you memorize this as volume of paraboloid evolution for two bases. And if there is only one base, set this to zero and change this to big H. Level seven, use three methods, two integrations and one by the concept of composite areas to determine the coordinates of the centroid of the plane region shown. So here is the given figure. So let's have, for the two integrations, let's have horizontal, vertical and horizontal steps. 
first vertical step. So we have upper y and lower y. So the thickness of the step is dx. That's upper y. Then that's the lower y. Y lower. So therefore the area is the area of the integral of the area of the strip which is rectangular strip. So it is equal to the height, which is upper y minus lower y, times the thickness dx. Our variable of integration here is x. And this is the centroid of this shaded region. The location from the y-axis is barred x or y xg. And its location from the y from the x-axis is yg. So area equals integral from 0 to 120 for variable x of height, upper y minus lower y, thickness dx. The upper y is the y of this parabola, which is square root of 30x. And the lower y is the y of this line, which is 0.5x. So area equals integral from 0 to 120 square root of 30x minus 0.5x dx. Since we are allowed to use the calculator, although this is just power formula. So using the calculator, by the way, that's the centroid of the strip. So x sub c is just x. And y sub c is the midpoint of this vertical line. The midpoint formula is average of upper y and lower y. So that's y sub c, which is the average of upper y and lower y, or upper y, quantity upper y, plus lower y divided by 2. So area is 1,200 mm square. Then for xg, we use Varignon's theorem, area times xd equals integral of x sub c dA. So 1200 xg equals integral of x sub c, which is just x, then dA, which is integral of square root of 30x minus 0.5x dx. So using the calculator again, the value of the right side is 57600. So xg can now be computed. It is equal to 48.00 mm. Then for yg, area times yg equals integral of y sub c dA. Or y sub c is the average quantity upper y plus lower y over 2. And dA is upper y minus lower y dx. Let's go back to dA original. So if we expand this product, this is upper y square minus lower y square. So 2,400 to 1,200 times 2, yg is integral from 0 to 120 of upper y square minus lower y square dx. So the upper y square is now 30x, lower y is 0.5x quantity square. So 2,400 yg equals integral 0 to 120 of 30x minus 0.5x quantity squared dx. So using the calculator, the value of the right side is 72,000 divided by 2,400. So yg is equal to 30 mm. So for the second solution, using horizontal strip, so call that right x, this one left x, the thickness is dy, the variable of integration this time is y, so limits would be from 0 to 60. So for the area, integral of right x minus left x dy, so right x is uh, y over 0.5, y over 0.5 is 2y, left x is y squared over 30 and dy. So using the calculator area is 1200 mm square of course. It's the same as this. So 1200 times bard x. Bard x this, this is the centroid of this uh, strip. So bard x is the average of 
right x and left x or left x plus uh, right x minus left x all over 2 so it will give us x sub c which is quantity right x plus left x divided by 2 that one while y sub c is every element of the horizontal strip is equidistant from the x-axis so that distance equals distance from the center and distance of the right end so it is just y so y sub c is just y so area times xd equals integral of x sub c da and da is right x minus left x x sub c is quantity right x plus left x over 2 so 1200 xd equals integral from 0 to 60 of right x plus left x divided by 2 differential area right x minus left x dy so 2400 xd equals integral from 0 to 60 of right x square minus left x square dy so right x is 2y quantity square then left x is left x is y square over 30 so 2400 xd equals integral 0 to 60 of 2y quantity square minus y square over 30 quantity square so using the calculator the value of the right side is 115 to 100 so xg can now be computed it is 48 mm similarly area yg equals integral of y sub c da where y sub c is just y so 1200 yg equals integral from 0 to 60 of y 2y minus y square over 30 dy so the value of the right side is equal to 36,000 and divide by 1200 yg is equal to 30 mm so that's it for these two integrations and one composite area so the shaded area is area of parabola which is two-thirds base time side the area minus area of triangle which is just one half of base time side so area is area of parabola minus area of triangle the area of parabola is two-thirds of base time side the base is 120 and the height is 60 so area is equal to 4800 for the parabola for the triangle area is one half of 120 times 60 so area is equal to 3600 mm square so the shaded area therefore is 4800 minus 3600 so 1200 mm square for the parabola the location of the centroid which we call x sub c of parabola is three fifths of 120 if you can memorize it so three fifths of 120 equals 72 mm and its y coordinate of the centroid of this parabola is 3 eighths of 60 3 eighths of the height so you can only present the solution if you can remember the location of the centroid of parabola of course for the centroid of a triangle that that should be that should be known to you because if you cannot locate the centroid of triangle then much more for the parabola so 22.5 for the triangle two-thirds of 120 is 80 x of triangle and of course for the y of triangle it is one-third of 60 so 20 then ap applying Varignon's theorem net area 1200 xg equals area of parabola x of parabola minus area of triangle x of triangle so 1200 xg equals 4800 times 72 minus area of triangle 3600 times 80 so solving for xg xg is 48 mm 
then 1200 YG equals 4800 times 22.5 minus 3600 times 20 for the triangle. Solving for YG, YG is 30 mm. So that's it. I presented three ways. I hope that uh, you can master even one way. That's enough. But for composite areas, for parabolas, you should know the location of the centroid as well as for spandrel of parabola. The rest you may not memorize. Level 8, locate the centroid of the plane area shown. So we will divide this into rectangle and triangle. So let's call the area of the rectangle as area 1 for the triangle area 2. This is the location of the centroid since the total length along the base is 18 plus 24 42 so its distance from right or left edge edges would be half of 42 which is 21 since this is already 24 so that means x of area 1 is 3 24 minus 21 but before that the area of uh, area 1 is 42 times 32 so area is area 1 plus area 2, we have to add. So area 1 is 42 times 32, so it is 1,344 mm square. Area 2 is 1 half base time side, so 1 half of 42 times 12. So 252 mm. So area is 1344 plus 252. So area is 1596 mm square. So the x of 1 is 3 as mentioned earlier. Uh, 24 minus 21 where 21 is half of 42. 18 plus 24 is 42 divided by 2. For area 2, because this is a triangle and this is the origin, so the x coordinate of this corner is negative 18 this corner is positive 24 and this corner is 0 so remember the x coordinate one third of so y1 is 12 plus 16 for area 1 12 plus half of 32 16 12 plus 16 28 So x2 is, as I said, one third of negative 18 plus 24 plus 0. So x2 is equal to 2 mm. Then y2 is 2 thirds, 2 thirds of 12. two-thirds of 12 or 8 mm. The other way is average of the y coordinates. Uh, one-third of 12. 12. Y here is 12. Then y here is 0. So 8 mm. The shorter way is two-thirds of 12, which is 8 mm. So it's the same. So we now apply Varignon's theorem. Area 1596 times xg equals area 1, 1344, x1, 3, plus area 2, 252, x2, 2. So xg can now be computed, 2.842 mm. Likewise, area 1596yg equals area 1, 1344, y1, 28, plus area 2, 252, y2, 8. Eight. So 1596 YG equals 1344 times 28 plus 252 times 8. So YG is equal to 24.84 mm. So that's it for this problem.
So level nine problem. Locate the centroid of the plane area shown. So we treat this as rectangle. This is the shaded area. So rectangle, then plus quarter circle, then minus quarter circle. So call that area one, this area of rectangle, area two, then area three. Area 2 and area 3 are equal. This is to be added. This is to be subtracted. So let's tabulate so that you'll have a alternate way of solving problems like this. So let's have element, the area in mm square, the x sub z in mm, y sub c in mm, then area x sub c in mm cube, area y sub c in mm cube also. Then we have three elements here, area 1, which is a rectangle, area 2, quarter circle. By the way, the area is 60 by 120, 2 times 60. 60 times 120 is 7,200. x sub c is here. So it is half of 60, so 30, but because it lies in the left side, so it is negative 30. Y sub C is half of 120, so 60, positive 60. It lies above the x-axis. So 7,200 times negative 30, put it here, negative 216,000 mm cubed. Then area 7,200 times 60, put it here, it is 432,000. For element 2, the area is pi over 4 radius square. Pi over 4, 60 square is 900 pi. X sub C is positive. The formula is 4R over 3 pi. So use your calculator directly. 4 times 60 divided by quantity 3 pi. And it is equal to 25.46 mm. Y sub C is 120. From here up to here, 120 then minus 4R over 3 pi. 4R over 3 pi is 25.46. So 120 minus, this is the centroid. So 120 then minus this distance. 4R over 3 pi or 25.46, so it is 94.54. Then 900 pi times 25.46, put the value here, 22914 pi. 900 pi times 94.54, put the value here, 85086 pi. Then for element 3, the area is the same but treated negative. The x sub c is 4r over 3 pi, but it lies, the centroid lies to the left, so it is the negative of 25.46. Bard y is 4r over 3 pi or 25.46, it is positive. So negative 900 pi times negative 25.46, put the value here, positive 22914 pi. Then negative 900 pi times 25.46, negative 22914 pi. So here we have to add the areas, sum 7200, the sum of this column, negative 7207.09 mm cube, and the sum of this column, 627319.1. Therefore, x sub g is this sum divided by sum of areas. xg equals negative 72027.09 over 7200 and it is equal to negative 10.00 mm. yg is 62731.9.1 over 7200. So yg is equal to 87.13 mm. So that's it for this problem.
level 10, locate the centroid of the plane area shown by integration. So these are the equations of the curves. This is a parabola equivalent to y squared equals x. Open to the right. And this is the given curve. y equals 25 over 9, x to the 3 halves. So let's have vertical strip. So this is upper y, and we also have lower y, and the centroid is there, the thickness is dx, area equals integral of upper y minus lower y, height of strip times thickness of strip dx. So the variable of integration is x, therefore the limits is from 0 to 0.36. Upper y is the y of this curve, which is x to the 1 half, while lower y is the y of this curve, which is 25 over 9 x to the 3 halves. So integral 0 to 0.36 of x to the 1 half minus 25 over 9 x to the 3 halves, then dx. You, you can evaluate this manually the easier way. But since we're allowed to use the high-tech calculator, so let's just use by using, let's use the calculator and you check the answer manually. So it is 0 0.0576 meters square. Then area times bar x, area times x sub g equals integral of x sub c dA. So this, this is the location of the centroid of this strip which is same x distance considering the upper point, same x distance lower point. So x sub c, x sub c is just x, while y sub c is the midpoint of this strip, and the midpoint is the average of upper y and the lower y. So y sub c is one half of upper y plus lower y. So area times xg equals integral of x sub c dA, where x sub c is just x. So 0 0.0576 equals integ xg equals integral from 0 to 0 0.36 of x sub c, which is just x. And dA is upper y minus lower y dx. Upper y is x to the one half, lower y is 25 over 9 x to the three halves. So using the calculator, the value of the right side is 8.8869 times 10 to the negative 3. So solving for xg, xg is equal to 0.1543 meter. Then area times yg equals integral of y sub c dA, where y sub c is half of upper y plus lower y. And dA is upper y minus lower y dx. So this is y sub c and this is dA. Simplifying, 0 0.0576 yg equals 1 half, then quantity integral 0 to 0 0.36 of upper y square minus lower y square dx. So the upper y square therefore is now x, and the lower y square is the square of this. So 0 0.0576 yg equals 1 half integral from 0 to 0 0.36 of x minus 625 over 81 x to cube, the square of 25 over 9 x to the 3 halves. So using the calculator, the value of the right side is 81 over 5,000. Therefore, yg can now be evaluated 0.2812 meter. So that's it.